Ah, Wish.com. The online marketplace where you can buy just about anything. And I mean anything. The main draw of this site is that you can buy quirky, ridiculous items for super low prices. But you get what you pay for. Trust me, in part one of this series, I found that out the hard way. From $4 medicine balls made from mystery materials to $2 terrible resin teeth. Ugh, I swore never again. But you guys found a lot of fun in my learning curve, so just for you, I went back to Wish.com and ordered even more of the craziest stuff I could find so that you don't have to waste your money figuring out if it's any good. Let's see if any of it holds up or kills me, whichever comes first. Feature Fashion all right, let's fire up wish.com, type in the word weird, and see what comes. Wow, that didn't take long at all. So these are earrings, at least I assume they are from the fact that they use the word earring four times in the product title, designed to look like fleshy, dangling human feet, or stud ears. And for $4, what a horrifying bargain. So I hit buy on the dangling feet version, and a mere three weeks later, a surprisingly small package arrived at my door. At first I thought it was something else I'd ordered, but uh, no. This, this is what I got. Remarkably tiny metal studs of ears. Wait, did my order get mixed up? I checked the description back to make sure that I wasn't having a stroke, and I honestly don't think the seller has any idea what they're selling. The earrings are apparently gold. Their style is a uh, travel souvenir, and they say it's applicable to gift them as employee benefits. Well, considering how confusing the seller's description is, I'm surprised I got anything at all. Verdict, do not buy these for your employees. Lobster sliders. Now, in part one, you might recall I bought some fish slippers that I tried and failed to fit on my massive feet. Well, it takes more than one bad slipper experience to deter me, friends, because I found lobster slippers. Now, I wasn't too sure about this because despite saying they're for men and women in the product title, the majority of the sizes say children next to them. But then I saw a few larger sizes for adults, so I ordered the largest size they had available. It was only after I'd spent $20 on these things that I looked at the seller's name and realized from the keyboard mash of letters they'd put in that this purchase was probably a mistake. But when my lobsters finally arrived, they looked pretty much like the picture. Then I tried them on and yeah, I mean, I know I have big feet, but this is ridiculous. These are kid sliders. Well, I did manage to get my hands in them. Maybe I can walk around in them in an eternal handstand or use them as the world's worst gloves? <sighs> Will I ever get a set of seafood-themed sliders that fit my feet from Wish? I guess we'll find out in part three. Verdict, crustacean frustration. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I love a good novelty cushion, so when I stumbled across this listing selling giant, delicious-looking chicken-shaped pillows, I nearly threw my credit card at the screen. I was hungry and sleepy just looking at them. So I checked all the measurements and decided to order a number two and a number 10, promising me two 70 centimeter chicken leg pillows, about 27 inches long each. And that's one big chicken. Well, for $40 all up, it had better be, oh, oh, I got got, I got got good. They both arrived barely 20 centimeters long. I mean, look, they barely have the same length as my hand. What comfort are these meant to provide my behind? They're barely enough to support one cheek. I mean, this lady is having a lovely nap on her promised pillows, but I can't even fit my elbow on the ones they delivered. Verdict? KFD. Kentucky Fried Disappointment. Hermit Hell. A little while ago, I was on Etsy when I came across this abomination. A handmade, creepy, realistic finger hermit crab ornament for 60 bucks. Perfect for the horror lover in your life. Now, I did my best to forget all about this. Until, as I was browsing through Wish, I found the same product that was using identical images from Etsy and was trying to pass them off as their own. But this hideous hermit crab was only listed at $10. 
The description even reads, each one is hand-painted and finished to great realism. Obviously, I had to see if what Wish delivered lived up to the clearly stolen photo promises. And somehow, they made the thing worse. The cheap material makes it look like some cheap plastic sausages sticking out of a stale croissant. The bad paint job leaves it looking more tacky than scary. There's no way this thing has ever seen a human hand, let alone been hand-painted. Verdict? The only realism here is real disappointment. Super Scissors Now, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I assumed all scissors had just one set of blades, one attached to each handle. However, from Wish.com I've learned herb scissors exist, like normal scissors but with five sets of blades instead of one. More slice for the price. Obviously I wanted to see how effective all those blades would be, so I ordered a pair of the 19 centimeter, some seven and a half inches long, super scissors for 12 bucks. What I received instead, however, was a child-sized set of scissors with only three sets of blades on them. I mean, just look at this, they're tiny. I could barely fit my massive hands in the holes. But when I tested them on a piece of cardboard, they cut pretty well. Now, I'm not sure I have any child-sized herbs they'll be useful for cutting. At least, no more than a regular pair of scissors. Verdict? I guess it is a small world after all. Boo Tea I love a good, well-brewed cup of tea. The way I go about it, you'd think I was British. You know what I also love? Poop jokes. Not together, though. Poop tea? That'd really put you off your beverage. Aw, oh, damn it. Yep, that's a butt and poop themed tea strainer. Human ingenuity will never cease to amaze me. <sighs> so obviously I bought it. As promised in the description, the entire thing is made of silicone. The butt slips into the lip of the mug while the poop strainer is suspended below it in the water, diffusing the tea placed inside it. For what it's worth, the strainer did do a decent job of diffusing the tea. The only problem was when I went to remove the strainer, it looked like I was plucking a big shiny turd out of my mug. Verdict? It's a bit nutty. Slime to shine. Slime is such a weirdly satisfying thing, and if it's the right consistency, it can actually be useful too, according to Wish. The glue base that makes up the slime can stick to small debris like dust, and because it's super malleable, it can get into hard to reach places. Plus, Wish claims their slime doesn't stick to your hands while sticking gray, and also it can clean a lot of digital water that is afraid of water. And to figure out what the heck this product actually is, I bought three of them. Now for 10 bucks, I was kinda expecting more than palm-sized pods, but let's see if they clean as well as they claim. I put it to the test against some soil on a plate, just so we could see how much muck it really picked up. And it, it did okay. It got the majority of the mess, but it takes a lot of rolling around to really get it all up. It kind of looks like Flubber throwing down some dance moves. The only issue was once it was soiled, the slime itself was impossible to clean. And so it ended up in the trash after just one use. Verdict, one non-recyclable slimy waste. Face reveal. Now, as you all know, I'm not a big fan of showing my face. Trust me, you guys aren't ready for that. I wear hoods, face masks, dark glasses, but thanks to Wish, there's now a product that does it all. This full face visor, promising a weirdly featureless visage that reflects absolutely everything, like a big fisheye mirror attached to your face, I ordered one for a respectable seven bucks. After a few weeks, it arrived with all the components detached. The arms and nose bridge needed to be clipped in, but are you ready to see what it looks like on my face? Hey, looking good. Can't wait to see all the comments below like, OMG, a hair reveal. I was really surprised by how lightweight, colorful, and reflective it was. As you can see by the full view of my humble recording setup being reflected. Oh man, why do my ears look so weird on camera? At least the visor is pretty cool. Verdict, four thumbs up from me.
Here we go. If there's one thing you shouldn't buy from Wish.com, it's tech that looks too good to be true. Multiple investigations have found counterfeit, illegal, and unsafe products prone to catching fire sold all over the site. Which is why when I came across a super tiny 1080p camera designed to go inside your body for just three bucks, I had to get it. Good quality endoscopy cameras like this are usually about $50, so one for just three sounds hella dangerous. But if I'm going to risk my safety for a video, then it's going to be in the weirdest way possible while getting some super strange footage. Now, the camera arrived looking vastly different to the pictures on the website. It was significantly smaller to whatever this lady was holding and resembled more of a small straw than a camera. But after plugging it into my phone, the six tiny LEDs on the end lit up, the camera connected, and I decided to go on a bit of a tour of my bod. I won't lie, I did not feel comfortable shoving this thing too far into my ear, as it's pretty difficult to gauge just how far in it's getting, and there is nothing attached to stop it going too far. But what about the footage it captured? Oh, that's a lot of hair. At least I think it's hair. The, uh... 1080p quality seems to be missing the 10. Looks like I filmed this on a toaster. Well, for three bucks, I'm kind of surprised it worked at all. Verdict? Not bad for a light-up straw. Sus camera. Okay, the last time I bought a spy camera from Wish, it did not end well. Did I learn my lesson? <laughs> Absolutely not. Instead, while I was scrolling through the site, this $5 spy pen cropped up, promising both video and audio recording all inside a super covert looking pen. Obviously, wanting to live out my James Bond fantasy, I wasted no time hitting that buy button. And when it arrived, boy was I underwhelmed. Despite looking like something James Bond might use in the pictures, it felt more like Johnny English. Made entirely of plastic, it was super thick, felt horrible, and was difficult to unscrew, but it did contain a micro SD card slot and a charging port. So I put my own micro SD card in and charged it for a good hour or so. While I was waiting, I tested out the pen portion on my instruction manual, which was entirely in Chinese, just in case someone were to call me out on using this overtly thick pen for surveillance. And hey, the retractable rollerball nib did work. Shame the same couldn't be said for the actual camera, though. I did everything the product description told me to, and no matter how many times I tried, the micro SD card captured nothing. No video, no audio, nothing at all. Now, confused, I took another look at the product description and realized that maybe the problem wasn't me, but the pen. Because this thing only works on a Windows 98, 2000, XP, or Vista system. These are so old, they're not even supported by Microsoft anymore. Ugh, I give up. Verdict, disappointed, but yet again, not surprised. Manly Manicure and While a lot of the products you'll see scrolling through Wish look pretty intuitive, there are some that you might need a hand understanding. Quite specifically, this one. No, it's not a Halloween decoration. This is a realistic nail art training hand on a bendable mount, designed to help nail technicians practice their craft without ruining their clients' nails. Now, some models look more realistic than others. However, this one was a whopping $60. Obviously, I decided to shell out to see how realistic it was. I ordered a right hand number six, but uh, this is what I got. Well, it was not that. Whose skin color is this meant to be representing? The Pink Panther? Nevertheless, I unpacked it, clamped it onto the table, and gave it a quick high-five test, and began my venture into a backup career path. There we go, small, smooth strokes. Getting right up into that cuticle area, really packing all that polish in. Wow, I am basically the Bob Ross of nail art. Wait, what? You're meant to put fake nails onto the fingers before you start painting? Well, sadly, the main mount of this thing has the structural integrity of custard and flops over at the slightest touch. There's also nothing in the wrist section, and it folds over if you so much as look at it funny. So it was polish on bare nail beds or nothing. 
That'll be $200, please, babe. Verdict, if you see one of these in your local nail salon, run. Mini Manly Manicure. Now, Wish will suggest you products based on stuff you've already looked at, and because I'd made the mistake of buying the manicure hand, I got suggested these utter nightmares. Fake finger models, again for practicing nail art. As deranged as they look, I bought five for $3 just to see if they'd be as bad as the hand. And actually, they kind of surprised me. Unlike the hand, they arrived the same color and style I'd ordered, and were all pretty uniform. Definitely more realistic than the hand. Well, let's test out my nail polish application ability again. Ooh, stunning, gorgeous. That color really complements your, uh, knuckles. Well, despite being creepy, I'd say these are 100 times better than the hand. Plus, you can reuse them as Halloween decorations. Verdict, fantastic fake fingers. Porcelain Glow. Sometimes I think I should be smarter with my money and buy only the essentials. But about 10 seconds after that resolution, I'll get distracted by something like a motion-activated color-changing toilet bowl light. Do I need my toilet to look like a portal to another dimension? No. But for $4, do I want it to? <laughs> More than life itself. Like most Wish items, it arrived after several weeks and looked almost exactly like the pictures described. One long arm with a bendable wire to hook it onto the toilet bowl, connected to a motion sensor and a battery pack. I clipped it on the nearest toilet I could find, turned it on, flipped off the lights, and oh, it's perfect. Portal potty success. Looks a bit weird when you sit on it in the dark, though. Kind of feels like I'm about to send a poop into another dimension. But for four bucks, this little light does exactly what it says on the website. Verdict. Flush, sorry, flashy. Green suits me. When you go to a costume party, you want to go as something people recognize, like a pirate or a superhero, or, if you shop on Wish, a big inflatable green man. Not entirely sure what the reference I'm clearly missing here is, but uh, it's time to get in the party spirit by buying this green blimp costume for... $60? Okay, this had better be worth it. After a few weeks, the suit arrived complete with a hood, gloves, socks, and a cheap plastic attachable fan. The material felt like an active fire hazard, and it wasn't what I'd consider $60 worth of costume. But I decided to try it on, albeit away from open flames. I didn't want this to turn into a Hindenburg reenactment. And hey, the socks even fit my massive feet. Bonus! No problems with the gloves, either. Finally, clothing items from Wish that actually fit me. Just got to get the hood on, and voila, $60 worth of nightmare fuel. All that's left to do is insert the fan in the side hole and hit that on button. Here we go, moment of truth. I look like Shrek's disfigured son. As long as the fan is in place and set to on, the thing doesn't deflate, no matter what position you're in. Oh yes, I think I just found a new profile picture. Verdict, worth all the green. Intruder alert. Like most people, I'm scared of intruders breaking into my home, but professional home security systems don't come cheap, unless you're looking on Wish. Advertised as an infrared burglar alarm system, this thing had no description attached to it whatsoever. Just a few images of two big egg-like things seemingly sending an infrared beam to one another, which somehow catches a burglar. It also claims in the images that the eggs are anti-rain, anti-fog, anti-dust, anti-worm. What do worms have anything to do with home security? Well, I was about to find out for a suspiciously cheap $8. Well, it turns out I was right to have my reservations. I received a box with the two infrared eggs in it and a completely confusing user's guide. But here's the thing. They didn't come with any way to power them. No battery compartment, no wires, nothing. The uh, circuitry inside the eggs seemed like it might have worked 
but aside from some screws and inexplicably two black elastics it came with, there was nothing. A look back at the review section showed a lot of people had, like me, bought their eggs assuming they'd come with a way to power them, you know, like most tech does. Well, that's what I get for not looking at the reviews first. Verdict? Looks like I'm getting robbed tonight. Give it the finger. Do you, like me, have feeble fingers, scrawny forearms, weak wrists? This is not a question I ever thought I'd find myself asking, but because Wish offers a weirdly hand grip finger strength exercise gripper forearm health builder strength finger grip arm muscle builder wrist trainer, I had to ask. Well, for $2, time to get my little lower arms super jacked. It arrived looking and feeling like an overly complicated elastic band, but I put it on anyway and got to, uh, training, I guess. You can definitely feel it doing something in your hand. The only problem is that if you need to use said hand for something quickly, it's fiddly to take it off and put it on again. Now for me, it's a little more hassle than it's worth, but for two bucks, I'm not mad at it. Verdict? My wrists remain limp for another day. Juicy Juicy Melons Is there anything more refreshing in the summertime than a slice of watermelon? Well, according to Wish, there is. And all you need to do is turn your watermelon into its own keg. Okay, the images of this thing in action look like they've been photoshopped beyond belief. And what's more is that it says it can be used on pumpkins, too. Well, for $4, I had to put it to the test. Now, I have to say, when it arrived, I was shocked because I did something I've never done with a Wish product before. I recognized the brand, Pro Freshionals. These guys do a range of cooking utensils. Was Wish mimicking their entire brand to sell knockoffs? Well, honestly, I don't think they were. The construction of all the components here was really sturdy, so I decided to follow the instructions and hollow out my melon. Once a husk of the fruit it once was, I then screwed in the three red knobs so it could stand on its own and pierced it with the tap. I had to place the tap towards the bottom so that the juice would flow out, but the tap itself was huge, way bigger than my minuscule melon. Nevertheless, I persevered and soon had a fully constructed watermelon tap. And then it was time to blend up my melon pulp, pour it back in, and let her rip. Huzzah! A whole half cup of slightly warm watermelon juice. Not exactly the faucet of power the photoshopped images promised, but better than nothing. Verdict? This might actually be the genuine product and not a fake. Huh. Well, there's a first. Finger fail. I love a good magic trick, and if you do too, then stay away from this next Wish product. I was reeled in by the promise of having my fingers look like they were on fire, but these horrible photoshopped flames should have been my first warning. Nevertheless, here we are, a whole five dollars later. Now the packaging for this was my favorite part of the entire product, purely for the messages on the back which reassured me, each item is the result of efforts and wisdom, and that they wish me a bright performer. Ah. Uh, Bad English, straight out of the gate, you'll love to see it. Well, let's get the instructions out and, uh, oh, it's all in Chinese. You should have seen that coming. Well, it's only strapping tiny flammable devices to my hand. How dangerous could it possibly be? After sliding what looked like a few wicks attached to metal guard plates onto the tops of my fingers, which kept sliding off because the fit was really loose, I was ready to light them up and do some magic. Yeah, right. This product is insanely dangerous. The design quality is poor, they fall off at the slightest rotation, and to add the cherry on top, they don't even work. The wick these things come with doesn't burn. It just smolders and smells faintly of plastic. Verdict? You're fired. You care, I care. After my last trip to the optometrist, my eye doctor gave me some hints for good eye care. Like, not wearing my contact lenses for too long, and taking breaks from screen use. Uh, know what she didn't tell me to do? Buy an electric eye care massager from Wish for $10, and yet, now I own one, because I am all about eye care. Are those vibrating arms? 
Well, this guy seems to be having the time of his life with them on. Now it's my turn. Okay, my first impressions. Let me tell you, these things do not feel good. They're made of a cheap plastic material that I do not want to put on my face. But this one's for you guys. So, I put some batteries in it, hit the on button, and... Okay, entirely random vibrational pulses. Great. After this terrifying development, let's put this on my face. Gonna turn it on and... No, no, I hate this. Somehow it's making my teeth chatter while it's massaging my nose and cheeks. Literally everywhere except my eye region. I'm more stressed in this thing than I was before I put it on. Verdict? I suggest rebranding this as a nose massager. Creepy Candle Now, I have a pretty gross confession to make. I get real nasty earwax buildups. Yeah, why do you think I was so keen on the ear camera? It's caused me problems from time to time, but no matter how bad it's gotten, I've never considered putting a wax-coated tube in my ear and setting it on fire. But thanks to Wish, this is now an option. Okay, technically this is a practice called ear candling. A treatment that's been credited with everything from removing earwax to curing cancer. Yeah, seems legit. It works by lighting one end of the candle, placing the other end in the ear canal, and uh, the rest is unclear. Multiple scientific studies have proved there is literally no benefit for using one of these. They don't do anything. Aside from pose an immediate fire risk to the side of your head. So when I saw the description of this Wish product, promised that this ear candle could alleviate chronic headaches, allergies, vertigo, and remove my earwax all for $5, I had to test it out. Well, I certainly got a lot of uh, orange tubes for my buck. Now, the description said these were made of wax and the wonderfully vague natural material. They felt very hard and solid, but I assumed that must be the wax. So imagine my surprise when my friend helped me put this thing in my ear, lit it, and then the undeniable smell of burning plastic filled the room. And that was probably the point where we should have stopped, but it wasn't until smoke started coming out of the end and I felt something fall into my ear that we decided it was definitely not going to end well. Verdict... Who knew lighting naked flames fueled by plastic near your face was a bad idea? Well, that's a lot of money I'm never seeing again. Have you ever bought any of these items off Wish? And if you enjoyed this and want a part 3, let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching.